I've been joined by the one and only Protex, who is uh, going to be stepping in for Mr. Chaloner. Now, Protex, you've been watching this final with uh, eager anticipation. Why don't you uh, tell me uh, with whom you are uh, hedging your bets right now? Uh, I think I'm going to be really awkward, Stuart. I'm going to say I'm going to sit on the fence for the second map. I know that um, XOXO are, are well known for their uh, Inferno results. Um, and certainly after the showing in the first map, they need to pick it up and, uh, and roll through if they want to win this one. Um, obviously, coming off the back of the uh, second place of Slap Plan, they should be pretty confident. And, and the interview that I did um, with them beforehand, before this final, you know, they were looking at, at winning this quite comfortably. Give us the plug. Come on, where can we read that interview? Uh, <laughs> you want the plug? Uh, www.bgamer.co.uk. So it's a, a new portal go. from B Broadband, um, trying to cater to their existing broadband subscribers and the, the wider gaming audience as a whole. Well, there you go. Fantastic plug <laughs> with a tagline. What more of could course. you ask for? Yeah, you go. <laughs> Please the boss. Mm. Now we're going to start this second half, knowing that uh, XOXO lost that first map on Inferno. Uh, sorry, on Nuke. We on move Nuke. on to Inferno. And uh, we're going to get the restarts here for the pistol round. Or is this going to be the ninth? Um, we'll have to wait and see. We will. Nope, start money change, so we are going to be on a pistol round. And uh, you'll know, you know, you're known perhaps more for uh, 1.6 than you are Source, but explain this map to uh, anyone who's perhaps not seen uh, Counter-Strike before out there in the audience. What's the difference between this and Nuke? Uh, well, Nuke takes place in, well, essentially a, a sort of a factory um, area, whereas this takes place in sort of city streets. Um, you've got, again, two bomb sites, uh, funnily enough, named A and B, just like on Nuke. Uh, but in terms of strategy, you've got um, a long passageway that leads up to one of the bomb sites that's referred to as Banana. Um, and then you've got uh, a central middle corridor, as you know, the guys are sort of hanging around at the bottom of here. Um, you've got ways through one of the houses, um, Again, city area, stands to reason, really. Um, and in terms of strategies, uh, uh, it's generally a case of you do a lot of fakes on this map. You know, you try and cause a distraction, possibly going up banana to the A site, and then rotate back around towards B, or you go through the halls towards B, and then, you know, vice versa. And XOXO are going to win that first round exactly what the doctor ordered for them. They need to win this and a heck of a lot more to uh, take this one back. We could go to a three mapper here in the grand final. That would be interesting to see. Would be. <laughs> Is this your first commentary experience? Uh, I've done it once or twice in the past, but again, that was for 1.6 so many years ago. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens, shall we? <laughs> we'll save you from the play-by-play. -play. We'll just be picking on your expert knowledge. Is, uh, that is Phil Ride, AKA Protex. On a Friday night, it's got a different name completely. Yeah, thanks for that. We'll keep that one quiet. Here we go, moving forward with XOXO as they have the weapons. You can see that Very Games are running up the right hand side as uh, they have all players together. They know that they've been spotted and they know that they've been massacred because Ripley and XE have picked up two quick frags. RPK gets two back, doing his job, but has gone down to Orga, who had a fantastic first map for XOXO. And they win that pistol round and convert it. Well, second round. And convert it into the second round. Yeah, okay. And uh, now. They will look to do it one more time, as I don't believe XOXO will be buying on this one. No, they haven't, having only got those two frags uh, on the board in all two rounds, and no bombs down. And uh, now we'll be without weapons once more. As Very Games will uh, make their way through. Flash comes over the top, as uh, we now have Smith looking to make something happen for Very Games as he launches his way over the middle. The rest of his teammates haven't gone this way. He is a, he is a distraction. He is a Trojan horse through the middle for Very Games as they look to bait out Taxo Exo, but it's not happening for them here as KRL goes down on the left. And it will be Orga to pick up the first one. Exe goes down here. Right B comes in with one. Orga gets the second. And that'll be that for XOXO. XO. Three quick rounds on the board. And they need to clean this one up. And uh, now this first buy round, oh so crucial. Tell me about it. Well, after you've done the pistol, generally, uh, if you lose the pistol round, you obviously eco twice to try and. Uh, get some cash in the bank that you can buy weapons with. Um, again, the fourth round is regarded as the first gun round where you know both teams can buy effective weapons, armor, grenades, you know the whole shebang as it were. Um, and obviously if you win the fourth, that puts you in a strong position for the fifth and sixth. If you lose, chances are you'll have to go back to pistols and start all over again. Here we go with Ferry Games. Knowing that importance, oh so well as uh, they move up the banana walkway. That's, that is what we're on right now. 
towards the entrance to that uh, A site. Or small site, if you're a 1.6 now. <laughs> it's not quite so small anymore. No. And there's a fountain. Who put that in? You did. <laughs> Here we go. Very games will make their way through. Grenade pinged off there by right knee as Exo will nail across. And uh, right knee's going to get called into action right now. Opens up the fragging with one. And Exi comes in with a second as KRL goes down. Suddenly Exo look to uh, clean out this very game's assault with a third frag. And RPK is one of only two men left up. He does have the bomb and he is going to make his way into the hay barrels now. As he pushes towards his B site, walks nice. onto the end of a bullet. And Exo pick up a clean five frag round. And uh, well, that's not what uh, very games were looking for. Well, no, I mean, that's it. As I just said, this will put them again on the back foot. Be strapped for cash. Gonna have to, as they're looking like they're doing, they'll go for Desert Eagle, so slightly better pistol. Um, but it, it's gonna be tough for them. And certainly, you know, if they lose this as well, there'll be another round strapped for cash. Uh, back to square one, really. Here we go, they make their way up the banana walkway with intent, but they get mopped up by a double grenade from Fetish. And Smith and Rednam are the ones. Fetish gets himself the oh, third. Four. Oh, say goodbye to four players. This for the ace. He and gets it. it. Fantastic work from Fetish. All right, it was a, a, a Deagle save uh, ace, but they all count, and that'll certainly be in his frag movie. And so he cleans out the very game's assault. That's five rounds down already. Now, on that last map, Nuke, we talked about biases for CTs, but most certainly. What would your uh, map bias be on Inferno? Uh, I think it's, it's pretty difficult. I mean, with the, the amount of strategies that you can employ on Inferno, it, it's, uh, and from experience playing it, it's reasonably even. I mean, the number of fakes that you can do, the, the access points to the bomb sites, it, it can go either way. I mean, a lot of it comes down to who you've got in terms of your teammates backing you up and, and the positions that you initially take. Well, certainly, and now Very Games need to make something happen for themselves here as they are on a buy round, but they've lost the opening frag. Fetish gets himself the kill before going down at the hands of Regnam. On assumption, based on where Fetish was last round, you guess he'd be at the A site. And that may allow Regnam to do some uh, damage for uh, Very Games in terms of distracting this defense as uh, they dart their way around the corner on board with Mate as he makes his way through. Pushes across, looking to shoot in towards that library. RPK gets himself a frag. Jimmy goes down. Exo now need to uh, stop the rot, if you will. There's two quick frags come courtesy of uh, Exo now. As uh, they dart back round. Bomb planted in that inside. Orc shot missed by KRL. A shake of the head from Protex, knowing that he had to land that one if he was to suffocate this incoming bomb site recovery. He's now looking to the right where someone certainly is. As you can see on the top, lands his second shot. It's Augur that goes down. Very games with Regnam picking up the frag on the one. And KRL through the smoke cleaning out. And Exo dispatched of quite impeccably. And that's that first round on the board for Very Games. Uh, it's certainly good work. And now they need to, you know, try and build up some momentum. They've got some cash. They've still got the weapons from last round. If they can take this next round, possibly the one after again, they put themselves in with a shout of, uh, you know, picking up a good number of rounds in this half and going through into the defensive side. Very games. We'll need him. I'm not sure that... That wasn't intended, I don't think. <laughs> he smokes out the middle left. May allow his AWP to go forward somewhat. And uh, he will push along up the banana walkway, orping as he goes. Very games sit themselves off, looking to pick off these uh, EXO players who are all dressed up and ready to go weapon-wise. And EXO must now deal with this incoming assault, which has uh, been naded out and boosted up. And Very Games now will make their way up and towards the house. Nade comes across, that clears the way for KRL, and they clear every nook, every cranny, and now look to make their way through with uh, KRL. He has uh, one pushing through. He thinks not going to happen for him. He's KRL. just toying with them, really. He really is, <laughs> throwing as many fakes as he can. KRL is ready to move as he goes out and towards the smoke. He's got one to his left as his teammate. He's going to have one coming from under the archway. They move across. It's going to be Jimmy, who right knee, who opened up the fraggings for Exo. Fantastic work from the pair of them. Two kills each, and that leaves just one. It was Smith's, and he wasn't up for much longer. Very games for all their huffing and their puffing. They certainly couldn't blow that house down. Certainly. I mean, it's one of those things. You have 2v1 situations there, arch towards uh, B. Um, really, in those situations, you need to make sure that you take the guy down. They both stood there. 
and well, what can I say? Atrocious play, realistically. You know, if you're trying to get into a site, you need to make sure that you take out the first man that spots you so that you can get in. Most definitely, and now very games are uh, down onto another save. They are weaponless in terms of SMGs. They have got themselves uh, four deagles on this assault. Right me opens up the first rank. KRL goes down. And XO will lose not one, but two, but three players as Regnam and RPK go to work on XO. And suddenly, Very Games have got themselves a bomb down. And what was a shocking previous round is suddenly turned to have a silver lining on it. As well, the we'll have to wait and see on that one. They've got money in the bank regardless. Smith gets himself the frag onto Jimmy, and there's now just one person left up. It's Fetish, whose Fetish is fragging. He's going to get himself an AWP and get out of there. And uh, we'll return down the middle, and that'll be 6-2 on the scoreboard, and that will be EXO looking very positive um, at the scoreboard right now, but we'll look at this and say it should. It should be 7-1, and it's not. No excuse for losing a deagle round? Hard to say, really. I mean, again, come on, come it's, off it's, that fence. It's, it's one of those random games that anything can happen, and certainly the deagle in Counter-Strike Source compared to 1.6 is the most random weapon I've ever seen. I can stand there, you know, on dust two and shoot from the bottom in the pits of long A and, and kill somebody quite nicely. I can hear the flame on Cadrid now. <laughs> I'm all for it. Do it. I'm not going to respond. Oh, you will. <laughs> hey, he's got a fake account on there. It's called Goody. Here we go. <laughs> KRL pushing up for very games as uh, he's the only man going up through the middle. He may be able to flank his opponents right now. Oh, right, me dispatches of him fantastically. The rest of the players now make their way through the banana walkway and up and towards that A side. It's going to be Smith pushing in towards the site. And Ray RPK's grenade has cleaned out Fetish, the sole survivor from the last round. And now bomb planted. Right, me comes through as they make their way through the ruins and around the right hand side of that site. Mate's got the first frag onto right, me. There's still one more there who he knows he has to uh, clean out. Hops across. Ooh, will escape here. Flashed out, firing shots for love nor money as Exy comes in with a kill on the Smith. Jimmy's point blank AWP comes in with a kill. And now they will get this defuse with Exy. And that will be Exo getting themselves another round on the board. 7 2 the score. Well, that's it. I mean, said they were very strong on Inferno and they're proving it so far. Just have to see whether Very Games can come back. Very Games are uh, being asked a lot of questions here on their assault. They've, uh, they've tried going both A and B many times to different splits. And, to sp uh, and other than two rounds, anomalous rounds, you could almost say, they haven't looked comfortable. They haven't made this expensive. If you look at the scoreboard, their you know, fragging is uh, a good half of their opponents. It could and perhaps should be a bit closer here from Very Games. Nine rounds down. Rightly opens up the fragging here in the tenth. And Exo, desperate to take this to a sec third map, know that second place there's no prizes for losers in the uh, Euro Creek brought to you in association with B Broadband as Jimmy opens up with the AWP. And Exo are two tracks to the good, make that three augers. AWP comes in, and that's a double AWP defense we're seeing from Exo now. Jimmy watching one side, and the remaining Very Games players will make their way in towards the A site. It's going to be uh, Regnam who pushes in for them to begin with, but as we come out of that flash, we know that. There not be as many left up as they've taken some damage. There's certainly one in the uh, ruin to this site to the left, which RPK is looking for. And he pushes on. Redman gets the frag. It's Fetish that goes down. And now Very Games may have themselves an opening. Exo have uh, backed the wrong horse, if you will, bomb site wise. And Rightme is going to make his way through. And so Regnam is down and out. RPK has a bomb. And that's all he's got left for company right now, with uh, well, two players know, coming his way. AK and 100 health, that's quite reasonable. One on two, and here we go, he'll go down at the first hurdle, as right me picks him up, and they went, they did that right, as uh, they came in point blank at him, two on one, knowing that they, uh, he wasn't going to take them both down if they were both coming at him at the same time, and they got the round. Bomb defused, XO 8-2, and uh, the Danes are looking good here. Yeah, I mean, 8-2, what can you say? It's so far, it's not even looking close. And if we uh, break down most of the rounds as well, Very Games have sort of gone in as, almost as a disjointed unit. You know, the play from XOXO, teamwork's been there. They've been backing each other up. They've been going in pairs. And, you know, that's what you need. You get those kills by working together. This one they certainly do. 
Here we go. Out comes X. Coming up with his first leg. It's Smith that goes down. Looks to get the second. Delightful stuff from the Danes. As there is now KRL to push along. Rightly gets himself a frag onto RPK. KRL dispatched up in the site. And EXO get themselves another eagle round without loss. 9-2 the score. And there are, what, four rounds left in this half. And EXO, look, on form to take them all. And this could make this map very, very quick. Well, that's it. I mean, if they go through, win another couple of rounds, go into the second half, manage to take the pistol, yeah, it could be over very quickly. Um, and then we'll see the third map where it's still everything to play for because you know, level playing field, as it were. Most certainly, and uh, EXO must, must be making sure that they keep their concentration up here to pick up this round. That they, that, well, pick up as many rounds as half as their play has warranted. They have been in the ascendancy from the word go, and a French side that caused them all sorts of problems on Nuke are not doing so here on Inferno. That's it, it's going to make Dust2 very interesting. You know, one team has dominated a map each. How's he going to look for the third? We will find out that the beauty of the best of three. <laughs> Have you got any predictions for the winner then, Stu? You're asking me to get off the fence. I think Exo will take it. There you go, I'm off the fence. No, that's good. We'll have to wait and see then what happens. I think they've had the harder route here, playing Mint, playing Crack Clam. That's it. They said that the hardest game that they played so far was against Crack Clan, uh, the 2 1 scoreline in terms of maps. Um, all the others have been a 2 0, so. Berry Games will push in towards the site now. Massacred by Right Me and Fetish. Xe has gone down, but that doesn't leave Berry Games with much left. The only man standing is Maiden. He's gone down, and Xo picked themselves up the 10th round, 10 2 the score. It should force a save. It does force a save. Not even a Deagle this time from Berry Games. And that no, means they're going to go all guns blazing into the uh, into the f penultimate round. But this one should be another one to work. So that'll take them up to 11. And they'll be thinking 13 is very much within their grasp. As Jimmy's orb opens up the fragging, Regnam goes down. Now pushing in towards the, the A site will be... Oh, another flash comes in. And... It's not looking so good for Very Games. Jimmy Zorps comes in with one. Fetish gets another. And Very Games are falling like flies. And this gives us an 11 2 scoreline. Two rounds left in the half. Very Games need both of them. They do indeed. And it's going to be interesting to see how much money they've all got. You know, do they buy this one and hope they can win it to be able to buy for the final? Or do they try and save? Or it looks. I think that know, full save in the last one may, if they lose this, it will at least enough. give them the Galils on the next round, though. Yeah. Maybe a pea shooter or two. <laughs> Just throw stones and I hope it works. Yeah, there's some big <laughs> plant pots on this map. <laughs> Jimmy comes up with a frag under Smith. Berry Games, the French side, are in trouble here. We're going to... Well, not to pre-call this one, but... I think Dust2 is a very, very fond possibility here. As uh, Fetish pushes up, got himself the first frag. If you're going to do that, you perhaps need more than one as RPK goes down. Uh, sorry, goes down and gets that frag on the Fetish. Only three players left up for Very Games now. And with uh, Fetish pushed along there and going down, they know that their opponent is assuming there's a banana walkway rush. They're not going to go for that, though. As the three players that are up converge on the middle of the map. Oh, bye-bye, KRL. Orp shot from Orga. Kept cleans him out. Mates the last man up. Bounces away from that flash. There is... He's chasing out this frag here onto Orga, gets it. Not sure what Orga thought was happening there. Next, he's going to push around the Mac, though. Sure would be able to get this kill, but Mate's coming through the middle, and Very Games are quickly darting through the uh, arches and the ruins here. Jimmy gets himself that frag, and it leaves RPK. A lone soldier once more for Very Games, coming from behind, will uh, make his way in over the uh, HG that's just gone off, pushes along with 65 points of health, and gets shut down. We're going into a last round knowing that a pistol round conversion could be enough for EXO. Yep, I mean, EXO have got plenty of cash. I mean, they're raring to go. They wanna, they'll want they want to get straight into the second half if they can win this last round and pretty much roll straight into the third to keep that momentum going and hopefully take home the, uh, the overall victory. Here we go. Three men. 
put four men pushing up. Alt drop from Augury, exactly what the Danes wanted. Uh, KRL down and out for Exo. And they know now, as they push in towards this uh, covered, uh, uncovered site, it's going to be Jimmy and Fetish mopping up the French here. RPK answers up. There are only two left up. Make that one. Jimmy may go down, but he knows he's done his job. He's got himself the final frag. It's Orca, Orca that comes in and gets it. Exo, 13. Very games, two. Did you see that one at the start of the half? Well, uh, I, don't, I think it was going to be a lot closer than that. I mean, XOXO, yes, good performers on uh, Inferno, but you know, from the, the level that the teams are playing at, you know, the, the card red ranking that they've got pretty much next to each other, I think it's third and fourth currently, something like that. Um, you know, you'd expect most of the matches to be quite close, but that, that was almost a complete wipeout. Well, we're going into the second half here in just a moment. You're live from London in the sports bar here with the Eurokeague. Euro, Key, Euro yeah. Creek Grand Finals brought to you in association with Be There to give gamers an advantage. My name is Tuffpot and I'm joined by Protex. Those are gaming names, of course. And we have ourselves two players, uh, the second half, ready to go here, in fact. And the match is live. Away we go on the pistols. Very games. They need this. I mean, nothing else will do. Are in very much a lot of trouble. Oh. I like what you did there, well done. Did you see that? Did you oh see no, that? Was, I took the nice. very and I, and I used it <laughs> elsewhere. I bet no one's done that before. No. Here we go. Not rattled off from Exo. Very game sit. Poised. Crouching tiger, do you reckon? Well, is there a hidden dragon? Such. Who knows? Exo are in a uh, fantastic position, but it can be. But they know that they can expedite their way into the final map here. They know that they can go into that with confidence sky high. Nades flying across. Exo push along. It's going to be Jimmy to lead the assault for them as they go in towards that A site. Flashed, recovers, frags. One down though for his team as well as he makes his way through. Very games have got themselves a second frag. Mate gets himself in. It's Fetish that goes down. We are at a. Uh, Four on three here in favor of the French. Jimmy doesn't have the bomb carrier with him, but he does have reinforcements. Right Me's got himself a kill. We're at three on three. Oh, so crucial now as Right Me pushes along. Because he got that frag, they haven't bought the bait on their small site. As Right Me will uh, fire on in towards the uh, hay barrels. Doesn't get the kill. They had to land that if he was going to go for it. Poor play, and, but they will take this bomb along. KRL pushes along, oh, Augury, Jimmy kept the frags, Exo are homing in now, just RPK to stop them, one on two, both players low HP, there's the first bomb down, got to get this frag, and RPK oh. doesn't, Augur wins it for Exo, and potentially wins this match with a 13-2 halftime score, it quickly becomes 14, and they should close this one out now. Well, that's it, I mean, very games, realistically, well, I'd almost say that they have to go for the Deagles, because if they don't, they're going to struggle to, to come back into this, and it is going to go to just two straight away. We did see one pistol round conversion intercepted on that uh, first half, in that first map, sorry. But, you know, I can't see, uh, I can't see it happening here. I can't see EXO uh, doing anything other than uh, taking this one and taking us to that third map. Very game set themselves up. Oh, Deagle's in hand. Galil out for one of them, AK's out, and Rightme picks up the frags, and Exo going to work here as they clear up this very game side. There's only uh, two left up for them as very games push along. We're going to match point as Fetish gets the frag onto RPK. KRL and Regnam, the last two up. Regnam not going down without a fight with a frag onto Augur, and uh, KRL will back him up. Flash comes in, Regnam is still on 35 points of health. He's got one around the corner. The bomb is slowly making its way his way. Regnam now down to 13. Just will not die on that two points of health. Goes in, goes down finally. KRL makes his way through. And now it's he versus the bomb and an armada of Angry Danes. Gets himself a weapon, gives himself a fighting chance. He's going to go for this, has to go for it, otherwise it's match point. But he's going to get himself out of there to take that weapon into the next round. Perhaps the safe move because he wasn't going to get a one on three with 31 points of health. And Berry Games are going to win. Uh, sorry, Exo are going to win this round. They're going to take it to 15. And Phil, 
Ferexo, the momentum going into that second half. They're going to want to start that map instantly. Oh, certainly. I mean, this is it. It's one of those things, you know, a lot of gamers don't often appreciate it, but the psychological part of playing, you know, if you can get that momentum going, roll in, full of confidence, it, it can certainly play a, a big part in the outcome of a game. How does it feel to be on the end of this, though? How does it feel to be a loser of such quick proportions? Um, well, uh, as a loser, it, and playing at this high level, you've got to be able to pick yourself up. I mean, you know, they know that they won the first map new quite comfortably. Okay, yes, they've not done that well on Inferno, but just two again, generally regarded as, as quite even, random, whatever you want to, to call it, because a lot of teams play it as a, a sort of a, a standard map, um, mixes or otherwise. Here we go, Very Games have got themselves some frags on the board. Make that three uh, frags before XC comes to work and suddenly levels the playing field with a double headshot. He's got now one teammate, but both players are low on health. Mates gets himself the first onto right me, and now we have just one. It's Exe. He's going to have to pick up a, an astounding ace if he's to win this one for Exo. And that will uh, suddenly spark life into the French fans. Well, that's it. I mean, they'll, they'll probably be shouting on vents to each other, you know, if they win this round. It'll be a case of, you know, gear ourselves up. Come on, we're not out of this yet. And uh, see if they can kick on and, and carry it through, get some more rounds to go from there. Lovely frag coming in from Exe. He's going to get the bomb down at ASAP. That will put money in the bank for the next round, which is important as they'll need to buy, knowing that their opponents will certainly do so. 11 points of health and down. Three and out for Very Games. And, uh, sorry, for Exe. And Exo get the round. Very Games get the round. I'll stutter and stir as best as I can and ruin this for you. It is now a scoreline of 15 rounds to three. And that makes it a still uphill struggle. Oh, yeah, still an uphill struggle, but I mean, uh, we've seen it countless times before. This could be the start of a turnaround. Do you believe it is? I'm I am going to sit on the fence on this one again, I'm afraid. Who You're knows? not even going to. You've got a 15 <laughs> to 3 scoreline, and you can't come off the fence to say that XO hey, are going to take it regardless. I've seen worse things happen in 1.6, and teams come back from you know, worse than this, turn it around, possibly force an overtime, and uh, win the whole thing. Your teams? Uh, I'll probably say not. <laughs> Very Games get themselves two, th three, four, five frags, and they clean out an EXO attack that uh, I don't think had bought. And uh, now will for them, they can bide their time. They can simply say, look, we are uh, we need to save. We need to make sure that when we go into this round and finish this job off, mm -hmm. we're fully kitted up, which they are right now. Yeah, I mean, that's it. They're, they're stood almost on the finishing line for this map. It just needs that, that, that one step over, and then we move on. They're, they're just sat there waiting. Put Phil out of his misery. He wants that third map now. He's so excited. He's on the edge of his seat, as I'm sure many of you are at home. And here we go. Exo will nade over. Ready to push through. Jimmy's going to make his way in. Up the banana, they will nerdle, if you will. With right me, ready to nade up towards the top. Still on that balcony, he's got. One for company near him as well, who's just down to the left. They are set up and ready to rock and or roll. And they lie in wait. Jimmy gets himself a first frag. RPK goes down and very games are four frags away from defeat here in the second map. It will be Smith to pull things back as Auger hits the deck. Exo, resilient here, but Regnam and bit very bit games. Fake. The bomb's still at day. And here we go. Fetish gets himself a kill before Mato comes in. Right me's gone down. Fetish is going to have to uh, dart his way up as he gets himself the kill on to Mate. Now we'll go in and look to put that bomb down. No. Here's something to the contrary. He's in a one on two as he has to save this round for Exo. Looks to take it the uh, other way. Perhaps. More standard. Is that a fake of his own? Now we'll go through. Bomb out, has to go with his weapon out, surely. As he's got one coming towards him, he can hear the clock starting to play. He's not going to get this one. Oh, almost. And the target is saved, and Exo are going nowhere just yet. They can't finish off this round for them. And well, it's so good that you're sitting on that fence, because <laughs> otherwise, Exo may have proved you wrong. Well, that's it. I mean, hates to be proved wrong. I mean, oh yeah, I'll, I'll sit on the fence and, and go for a 15 all and take it to overtime. No, just well to, just no, to try you come off the fence now. You've come off the fence. You've said it's going to be 15 all. So well. we've got a prediction out of you. 
Greg Nam goes to work. One, two, three. Oh, and that's beautiful work from Very Games, taking themselves up five frags. Exo washed away. I know that they saved out, and now we'll look to uh, buy on this one and have another bite of that cherry. Have another match point. Why not? You have you had 14 of them, and now, now just a mere, a mere 12. As, uh, they now look to uh, pick this one up. In fact, it's 11. I'm not even going to question your maths. It's too late in the evening for that. We've got too many of those fucking rebels. Oh, not yet. Still time. Jimmy <laughs> comes in with a kill. Exo get themselves on the board. Just what they needed as they look to finish off the job for uh, Berry Games. Here we go with Exo coming along. KRL goes down. Berry Games in trouble here. Three frags away from defeat on the second map. We'd be going to a third to decide this one. And Exo sit and wait. This is a, a game of chess as much as it is a game of Counter-Strike. And when you're sat in these positions of waiting, looking to bait out your opponent, looking to force their hand, looking to make something happen for them. Jimmy fires a few shots off at the day site, but is being chased out behind him as they spy that there's going to be a five-man push coming here in towards this B site where Smiths is lies in wait with his AWP. He's going to have reinforcements coming his way for very games any second now, but he's going to be flashed out. Rattles off an orb shot in the half here. Recknam goes to work. Exy gets himself the kill on the Smiths. Bomb goes down courtesy of Fetish. Gets himself the frag. This could be the map. It will be if they can find Recknam who rattles off shot after shot. That is the map. And uh, that will be round two. Yes, waiting on the good games there. <laughs> Round two, Exo. We're going to take a brief uh, intermission here because it's going to take a few uh, a few minutes for them to get set up for the next map, and I'm sure both these two teams are going to want an intermission, a half time, if you will. What what will they be saying at this point, Phil? I mean, you know, someone's going to grab this team by the scruff of the neck and say, "Look, we're throwing this away." Well, it's certainly. I mean, very games have to pick themselves up now. You know, as I said, strong start on you. Did really well there. Come into Inferno. I'd say they'd be very disappointed with that performance. Um, but, you know, it's a case of talking about it and saying, we're not out of this yet. We can pick ourselves up. What do we need to do? Let's work together. Let's, you know, use what we've practiced and, and go in all guns blazing. XOXO, on the other hand, again, they'll have the confidence now. Uh, they'll try and keep the momentum going into Dust2 and, uh, and hope that they can just continue rolling through very games. One map decides 5,000 pounds, courtesy of Be There. It's the Euro Creek Finals. We will be right back.